Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Zephyr Hatch client, which you can see right here in Minecraft. Now, I have already made a video on how you can download it, how you can install it, and launch it, stuff like that. So check the top link in the description if that's what you want to learn. In this video, I'm specifically going to be showing you guys how to actually use the client itself. And now without further ado, let's continue. Also, one last thing, please keep in mind that you do need to keep the Ambrosial tab open. Um, you don't need to keep it visual, but you do need to keep it open um, for Zephyr to keep staying launched. So, as you can see, I've just loaded into my Redstone testing world, um, and here we can check out everything, yeah? So, the first thing you'll notice is that your hotbar has been switched to this more... Um, clean one right down the bottom over there that's absolutely fine yeah now um you two there's obviously right a menu right i can pull that up right over here here is the menu these are all the things you can um turn on turn off uh enable disable and they're basically all hacks and you can use your mouse to scroll up and scroll down to um, find more things. Anyways, to get this menu, you want to press the insert key. And now um, the insert key is a key and it's oftentimes right up together with your F keys. And um, in my case, it's the second key next to the F12 one. Yeah, it's uh, next to delete. And it might say insert, it might say INS, um, it might say INS screen link, it might be a screen link key, which also has the insert function. Yeah, that's the key you want to press. Right? So that's absolutely fine. We'll look back there in a second. Anyways, um, you can also press escape and then you'll gain access to your mouse and then you can click on things right um so you can uh remove the logo or well these things basically yeah if you just uh, click on that right there um they'll be gone if you think they're intrusive then you can remove those anyways pulling these back up um you can um as you can see also some of these they have a plus you can, uh, click on that anyways i'm not going to tell you what each of these are because obviously that's going to take forever to cover, right? You can test them out. A lot of them are already, um, you know, you can basically tell what they are. So anti-hunger, you don't get hungry, right? Um, you know, full bright, it like the the game doesn't get br the, the game the game doesn't get dark. Yeah, that stuff. Um, if you're not sure what they are, you can also hover over them. Um, so Frankie, it does exactly what you think it does, probably not the most helpful, um, but so here you can see that auto tool, um, automatically selects the best tool for the block that you are breaking, yeah, um, and you can see that with each of these, yeah, and obviously we have the categories here as well, um, which you can use to select. You also have this hover to search thing over here, um, and then you can um, search, for example, for things for, um, you know, basically whatever you want. Yeah. If there's a, something specific you want to search for. Uh, if you want to enable something, you can click on it. And if you want to disable something, then you can, you know, click on it again if it's uh, enabled or disabled yeah um so to get rid of the uh this you can either press on the insert key again or you can press on the click gui and that will just make them immediately disappear too yeah here we have the watermark um you can deselect that it's going to be on by default um but then as you can see um, the watermark will be gone as well, so if you don't like that, then you can just uh, remove that from right over there, so that's absolutely fine. Anyways, that's how to use all of these. Um, 
Now, of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, then make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. But for right now, that's basically the basics of how to use this client. Of course, any questions, stuff like that, leave them down in the comments. If you've got any um, tips for using the client, then leave those down in the comments as well for others to look at. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.